A Missouri man arrested in Wisconsin. What we know about the last day he was seen in St. Louis and the charges he's facing. And pretty dense fog outside. I'm going over when that will lift and what the rest of our Christmas Eve will look like. And looking to get out of the house today, the family friendly attractions open on Christmas Eve. This is today in St. Louis focused on you. All right, look alive, St. Louis. You hear those jingle bells. <laughs> Just one hour ago, Santa and his reindeer took flight, kicking off one of the most magical days of the year. Thanks to NORAD's radar, Santa is about to deliver gifts to the scientists at McMurdo Station in Antarctica. He's in his natural habitat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He'll reach the bi state sometime between 9 p.m. and midnight. And you can see we're all ready for Santa too here at Five on Your Side. Good morning. <laughs> it's Christmas Eve or Sunday, December 24th, whichever one you want to go with. <laughs> I'm Travis Cummings here with Tracy Henson and Mercedes McKay has the day off. Good morning to yeah, you. Yeah, her family's in town, so they're all spending Christmas here, yes, which I that's love. That's right. And I'm trying to figure out what cookies these are. Someone <laughs> said, are they out of the vending machine? I don't think Santa. Really care. You know, famous, <laughs> there is nothing wrong with whatever, if this is a famous Amos or whatever. That's right. Like that. He's going to eat them. We know that much. Well, <laughs> listen, he has some good weather he's flying into. So. Yeah, really good weather. Um, now, really good weather this evening for yeah. him. So between 9 and midnight tonight, I actually think it's going to be dry for Santa. So that is that is some great news. Current visibility wise right now, it is pretty dense fog outside. I did think the wind was going to pick up a little earlier, but instead it is not. That wind is holding off and that is why we have that fog that has formed over us. Now these visibility maps are pretty unreliable. That's because fog, you know, it can form and dissipate here pretty quickly. Just remember a few tips here. If you do come across fog, do not use your high beams that reflects back at you and actually makes your visibility worse. And if the fog is very dense, and I didn't come across any incredibly dense fog, but if you come across very dense fog, kind of like that Thule fog that you hear about from California, then you wanna just check your speed because fog can give the illusion of slow motion. All right, now in terms of the rest of the day today, it is looking pretty good. We are going to be dry for most of the day today. We are going to have a little bit in the way of cloud cover, and I don't know why my computer is frozen, but I'll just go ahead and load this in by hand. So here you go. We're going to have temperatures today land in the low 60s. We'll have a little bit, very minimal amount of sunshine throughout the day today. All right, thank you so much, Tracy. Well, here's a look at the fall conditions while you were sleeping. From the Stan Musial Bridge to the JB Bridge, you can see visibility was quite low. It's especially low as you head east on 64 towards Illinois, where the highway rises up near Jefferson. Take it slow on the roads this morning, folks. And new this morning, one man is dead after an early morning shooting in South St. Louis. It happened a bit before 3.30 a.m. at Minnesota Avenue and Potomac Street, just south of Cherokee, right by Gravar Park. No word on any suspects. This morning, a St. Louis man is in police custody after disappearing last week. Police found him in Racine County, Wisconsin yesterday. A family member reported 31 year old Trenton Ivy missing on December 20th. He was last seen with 29 year old Markeisha Williams in North St. Louis. Ivy faces multiple charges, including use of a dangerous weapon, resisting an officer and fleeing from an officer. We reached out to the Racine County Sheriff's Office to find out if Williams was with Ivy when he was arrested. We'll update you when they get back to us. Right now, University City Police are looking for a white Buick sedan they say is involved in a deadly shooting. The shooting happened just after two yesterday afternoon at the Circle K at Hanley and Olive. Witnesses say they heard gunshots and saw the car drive away heading west on Olive. The victim died in the hospital. Anyone with information can anonymously call Crime Stoppers. That number is 866-371-TIPS. Well, right now, division is growing over the Francis Howell School Board's decision to strike black history electives from the curriculum. Since the board meeting Thursday night, Five on Your Side has covered the controversial vote. I spoke with community members, local leaders, and academics on both sides of the issue.
And we're going to get back to that story in just a minute. We have reached out to the Southern Poverty Law Center to get their response to the board's concerns, and we're going to hear about all of that when we run this in just a few minutes. Well, it's the height of the holiday season, but that doesn't mean big things aren't happening in our region. Here are three things to keep your radar as we kick off the holiday week. To keep in mind, tomorrow is the annual free Christmas dinner at Messiah Lutheran Church, and that runs from 11.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m., following their Christmas Day service at 10 a.m. Now, everyone is welcome to attend, and you can eat with the congregation there or bring the food home. And Wednesday is the next opportunity for former employees of Northview Village Nursing Home to secure a new job. The North St. Louis facility suddenly shut down just over a week ago, displacing residents and workers. Slate is holding its second job fair for the employees from 9 to noon, and that's Wednesday at 1520 Market Street here downtown. And Thursday, Gypsy Rose Blanchard is expected to be released from prison after serving seven of her 10 years behind bars. A parole board approved Gypsy's release back in September. Gypsy pleaded guilty to second degree murder of her mom, Dee Dee Blanchard, in 2015. The Springfield, Missouri case garnered national attention when the public learned Dee Dee forced Gypsy to undergo unnecessary medical procedures as part of a fraud scheme. Gypsy's then boyfriend, Nicholas Godijan is serving a life sentence for the murder.